Welcome to another beautiful isometric design tutorial and this time we are creating a digital transformation slide. So coming straight to the point, here is how you can create it. So very first step is to create a gradient background and I have chosen this very bright uh, and red purple gradient background and this is very vibrant, very saturated so you can also try with blue that will also look very good with blue gradient so like but i'm trying here with this gradient so the next step here is to insert a rounded rectangle and we will create a mobile screen and so the next step here is to apply gradient color on this mobile screen as well the gradient color is almost same as we have applied in the background but we have kept it slightly bright and much light so that it, we can easily differentiate between the background and this shape and now we need few icons and here you can try to you know choose icons as per your requirement or the topic of the presentation but I have selected some random icons here. Now I am aligning these icons over the shape. So I'm placing them one by one and make sure these are well aligned to each other. And for that you can use the align options. So you can align to middle and distribute vertically. Also what you can do is you can experiment with different style of placing these icons. You can also place these icons differently. You can also showcase some numbers here like 50% says, 20% this, 30% this or some facts or you can use some logos. So it's all about how you want to showcase things here. It's all about creativity. Now what you have to do is you have to select all the items of the slide and go to 3D rotation options in the effects menu and select the first option, the very first option. So I just had to see there how it looks with that option but you have to select the first option. Now move it towards the right on the slide and you can see the icons are flying here and there so let's align them again so that they are well placed and correctly aligned so till now it is very easy and everything i hope you understood very clearly so it's not something which is very difficult so till now what we have done is we have placed around a rectangle and few icons over it then we have changed the angle using 3d rotation option that's it now what we are doing is we just have to you know duplicate this rounded rectangle apply white color and send it to back now reduce the size of the gradient rounded rectangle and again duplicate the white rounded rectangle and place it uh, at the back of the main shape and increase the transparency so we are creating a reflection so now we have three rounded rectangles and six icons i hope it is pretty easy till now and everything is clear so now we have slightly reduced the size so that we can place more items on the slide. Now let's ungroup these, make sure everything is well placed. And the next step is to create a base. And for that we will insert a circle and we have removed its outline. Now what we can do here is Let's go to the effect option and change its angle. Let's pick the third option. And we're gonna increase the depth so that it looks like 
3d and applied the same gradient color as we have in the background let's let's try to you know change the color okay let's i think the white looks good here it's perfect send to back and to create a difference between the background and the circle i have applied a gray color at the moment now we have duplicated this shape let's remove its depth and what we're gonna do is we will apply the gradient color that we have in the background on this circle meanwhile you can hit the like button if you like this video till now you can also subscribe if you haven't you can also leave your comment once this video is over and once you have completely watched it and if you have any queries you can directly consult me so now we have placed this circle and let's shift back to white color for this 3d circle and once it is in the center we have to uh, bring it to the front the mobile and here you go so our isometric design is almost complete so i'm just beautifying it further and we have to add some reflection here that will look good so we have to make this base a bit glossy well as you know from last few days i have been creating isometric designs powerpoint slides only and the main reason is that that these are very popular and when i searched in google i found lots of ideas related to isometric designs and you know um, i've seen lots of websites as well where they are following isometric designs in their marquees and banners so i thought it would be a great idea to create one in powerpoint initially i thought it would be very difficult but once i understood the geometry of it then i thought it is a very you know easy job so anyone can create isometric design all you have to do is you just have to understand the geometry and angles of it and then you can create any isometric design you just have to imagine and think of shapes and how you want to portray those shapes on the slide so now our isometric design is complete and we have applied the reflection as well so i'm just you know playing with this thing right now at the moment so i'm just adjusting the gradients angles and one thing is missing is the shadow the base shadow for that we have duplicated this 3d circle shape and we will remove its depth and we will apply a white color or black we have to see and then we will increase its transparency so we have sent it to back so let's try to you know uh, give it white or black color and let's see how it performs first try with black i think we do not require white here black looks good all we need is to just place it well at the center and here you see a very beautiful isometric design so i hope you like this design and you will use it in your presentations so this is the final design that i have created so i haven't covered the text part in this video because you already know how to create that so now let's do the animation thing before that let's ungroup anything that is grouped so select all and deselect these background shapes go to animation and select fly in and this is the trick that i'm going to tell you and i've also told this in a, in my previous video select all the items start with previous give a delay of 0.25 go to effect options smooth end and here you can see the animation is looking very cool now we have to increase the delay so we just have to start delaying the items here by selecting by deselecting one or two animation items from the animation pane 
so let's deselect one more increase the delay again deselect one two more this time and increase the delay so you can do it randomly like ones and twos and then you can also deselect three and keep on doing that till the end and it will create a very beautiful animation without knowing any science behind it so i mean if you don't understand animations this is the perfect trick for you select all the items apply animation increase the delay and keep on deselecting and increase the delay between the items and it will end up in a very beautiful animation here you can see the final animation so this is how you can create it so this is a digital transformation isometric design so i really thank you for watching this tutorial till the end please subscribe to our channel like share or comments thank you bye bye peace